A broken elevator, emergency evacuation, and hotel rooms as homes, at least temporarily. That's the situation nearly 50 Sumter residents are in after a visit by the Sumter Fire Department. News 19 Sam Perez spent the day in search of answers to see what this is all about and when folks might be allowed to return home. I'm at the Garden Circle Apartments on East Liberty Street where you can see yellow tape behind me. This was set up by the Sumter Fire Department when it came to evacuate residents on Tuesday night. And literally the police, EMS, it was like every single car in Sumter was there. Siri Taylor says she's lived at Garden Circle for six years and had a relative call the fire department because the elevator had not been working. I have to walk up and down seven flights of stairs and it's almost impossible. It takes everything out of me to do that. I have no legs or nothing. I'm disabled and I, I couldn't get in and out. I was locked up over a month. James Edward Lee tells me he's lived in the building for five and a half months on the fourth floor. Residents say the elevator has been out of order for a couple of weeks. No, I couldn't get out. I couldn't get to the store. I couldn't, you know, get the places I need to get, be because elevator. I'm sorry to the tenant, especially to the person that needs that is handicapped. I called the property owner, Amelfi Gayoso, who says she was not aware the elevator had been broken for over 20 days. The elevator company is going to go fix it today, and um, I don't know if it will be fixed between to, like either today or today and tomorrow. And the plan is that the tenants will be going back tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. She also says a company has been contacted to fix the fire alarm and fire suppression systems, which Sumter Fire Division Chief Joey Duggan says is the life safety issue that caused his department to shut down the building. If the life safety issues are not in place and in compliance, then they will not be opened back up until that happens. Gayoso tells me her company, 202 Sumter PF, is paying for all 47 residents to stay in hotels and motels. After that, she expects they can move back into the building. For Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Well, Duggan says he can't give a timeline on how long it would take because it's up to the company that the property owner uses to check the fire alarm and suppression systems and get them working again. Mm -hmm.